Hi, this is Jörg, which is German for George here at Find a Job in Germany in Berlin. Do you guys also work with cloud engineers? Meaning, do you also help cloud engineers find jobs in Germany? And my answer, short and simple, is yes, we do. Because there is a growing demand for techies with a focus on cloud technology here. So, here's what you should bring to the table if you're a cloud engineer and you want to find a job in Germany. First, let me tell you that back in 2020, we started out only with software developers. Uh, there was a very strict focus on Java and JavaScript here at our company. But over the last years, we have constantly widened our portfolio and successfully helped other tech and IT professionals as well. And this is where cloud comes in. Today is all about cloud technology and cloud engineering and what companies here are really looking for when they're advertising roles in that area. Anyway, let's break this down for you. What is, that's the first question, what's the most frequently used cloud technology here in Germany? Well, what I can say is, and I have not screened every single job description on the German IT job market, but what I can really say is that we are aware that, first of all, large multinationals will most likely use their own cloud system, of course. But from what I can tell, for all the other companies, AWS is leading the way. And then comes Azure and then comes GCP, so Google Cloud Platform. And what helps is, of course, if you're able to demonstrate hands-on practical experience in two of those. Uh, if not, it's not a deal breaker, don't worry, as long as you're able to draw the parallels, right, and show your professional understanding of cloud architecture in general, how cloud in general works. Then also one cloud technology as a skill will work. Next, uh, what's a typical activity or set of responsibility for a cloud engineer and what should you ideally already have experience with? Well, that of course will depend on your role and whether you were, for example, a team lead or you were part of a team. Uh, that's the first distinction that you can typically make. Let's start with uh, regular cloud engineering team responsibility. As you know, most cloud teams will be in charge of, and this is very generic, I know, designing and deploying new foundation infrastructure. So ideally you have gained experience in an agile team where the deployed infra complies with, and this is again another example, your clients or your company's hosting and information security standards, okay? Also, uh, you should have worked with the customer or other business partners directly, okay? and more importantly, on their application migrations into the cloud. Yeah, migration plays a crucial role here. You're going to find that in so many JDs. So again, any process experience here helps, be it that you initiated the migration or you helped its acceleration as part of their infrastructure setup. That is what matters. Uh, speaking of migration, where your experience will really truly matter to a German company is if you can show that you successfully performed the migration of apps from monolithic to, let's say, microservices from, and this is just one other example, from on-premise, of course, uh, for example, to GCP. But again, it's just an example. GCP doesn't have to be, uh, it doesn't matter as much that you use this particular one. What matters is that you know the migration process. That's what it comes down to. Now, if you have already advanced to a team lead stage, uh, then naturally you will be already leading a scrum team and you have supervised or ideally took charge of further developing the cloud infra, for example, backend APIs, okay? And that also means you directly interact with the client. Here team lead skills come in, communication skills, etc. It can also mean that your responsibilities include designing microservices architecture or, of course, being part of that process. Be that as it may, and those are just very few examples. You go through those JDs and see what you find as criteria. But let's turn to the most frequently you, know, you require technologies and tools that you might want to possess. Uh, of course, language skills, and those are predominantly Python, Java, or C Sharp. Okay, Python, Java, or C Sharp. And then there is, course, of course, you know, front end or back end framework skills for the front end JavaScript that could be Angular or React. And of course, you want to possess knowledge in databases. Most importantly, MongoDB, we see Postgres, MySQL, those to be required frequently. And of course, cloud infrastructure requires CI, CD knowledge, and that includes Terraform. Other tech you need to bring to the table, of course, would be Docker and Kubernetes. So if you have already experienced uh, this kind of setup, this kind of migration process with various projects, 
and you know the technologies I just mentioned and you're also interested in joining our personal coaching program, finding a job in Germany that is, you can go ahead and watch our video training, understand how we work. Our coaching program is specifically designed for people like you. We have successful, successfully helped cloud engineers already. Um, if you don't have all the technologies, don't worry. Um, it's just the beginning. We can also discuss where else you need to improve. In any case, um, if you are not a cloud engineer at all, don't worry about that either. I'm sure there's going to be much more content coming from our end towards you soon on your specific tech stack, on your specific uh, developer situation or whatever you are doing in tech and IT. I'm just getting started. So see you soon and hopefully talk soon. All the best.